The DAW1 or Digital Remote Wheels is the digital version of the famous mechanical Ari Gearhead 2. The DAW1 provides the same precise and the outstanding friction adjustment of the classical Ari Gearhead 2. So changing from mechanical wheels to digital wheels will not do big difference. Both feel the same and work the same. The Elvas protocol, already the Elvas workflow, allows all the controllers in the so-called DAISY change to be connected in series with each other with just one type of cable. This makes the setup very quickly and very easy. Even if a cable should fail, there is no problem, as there is always an Elvas cable somewhere. Three eight inch threads for long camera dog tail plates like the O'Connor plate. The bottom of the DRW1 mounting base offer multiple mounting options. Eurostyle quick release plate, Sattler side load plate M, Cartoni camera plate focus 12, 18, 22, Cartoni camera plate cine style slide. Below are three circular threads for Mitchell and Euro mounts. There are three M3 threads positioned at the left at the bottom and at the right side of the DRW1 model. Place the DRW1 model carefully into the DRW1 carrier and tighten all the three screws using the 3mm hexagonal key. Note, ensure that all the three screws are tightened evenly, otherwise the DRW1 model will have a loose fit, which may affect the application. Turn the location pin of the drive shaft at 12 o'clock position. Turn the blue flute drag ring to the right to reach the full friction. Locate the groove inside of the mounting hole of the hand wheel and bring it to the 12 o'clock position too. Now place the wheel into the conic drift shaft. When the handheld has reached its final position, tighten the blue locking screw. Now turn the fluid drag ring fully back to the left to reach the lowest possible friction level. The bottom of the remote control offers four M6 threads. Open the clamp lever of the remote mounting bracket. Remove the bracket from the rows of the DRW1 mounting base. Place the DRW1 SRH remote mounting bracket at the bottom of the remote control. Tighten the four, including the M6 screws. The ARRI engraved cover can be removed after the two screws at the bottom holding the cover has been on the screw. Now the two wheel carry can be mounted to the bay. Redo steps 3 and 2. Note, ensure that all the three screws are tightened evenly, otherwise the DRW1 model will have a loose fit, which may affect the application. Each DRW1 model is equipped with two L-Bus connectors and the DAISY chain technology. Up to the three DRW1 model can be connected in series. Each DRW1 model has two identical bi-directional LBAS interfaces that provide the DRW1 model with power and control signals. The DRW set comes with the following LBAS cables. The illustration shows how one of the wheels is linking to the other and then with the remote. The LBAS jacket are located on the sides of the remote control. Each DRW1 model has a selection button for pan, tilt and roll at the top. Initially roll of the PTR will be selected at the visible after the SRH remote control panel have been connected to the L bus. By pressing the button pan, tilt and roll, the desired axis for each wheel can be selected. Note, ensure that each wheel is assigned to only one individual axis. Avoid assigning two wheels at the same axis. The DRW1 wheels are equipment with a brake lever, which goes back to the ARRI gear head. The brake lever allows to the operator to engage or disengage the wheel from the select motor axis. Note, an unlocked wheel will be indicated by the green LED. A locked wheel will be indicated by the red LED. Note, disengaging the wheels can also support operation. The DRW1 wheel are equipment with a fluid drag ring which allows frictions to be adjusted. This unique feature allows to the operator to control the currency of the head through a mechanical friction adjusting instead of the software value such as the ramp. Due to the mechanical friction, 
The run's values in the remote control can be set to zero or close to zero. The mechanical friction ensures that the DRW1 wheels and the remote head respond quickly and accurately. Before you connect the DRW1 to the control remote panel, change the profile to profile 2 for example. Keep the profile 1 for the use with the joystick. For the fast and easy setup, this menu will show up as soon as the DRW1 is connected to the remote control. There are two ways to use the DRW1. Angle mode and speed mode. Angle mode, the right shows when extremely precise movements are needed. Every movement of the DRW1 is transferred to the remote head with exact degree and precision. Speed mode is the right mode when high dynamic action needed to be covered. Touch the menu at the lower right corner of the home screen to reach the main menu. In order to operate the DRW1 correctly in angle mode, the following sentence shall be made. In order to achieve a faster movement in angle mode, the ratio values must be adjusted. Selecting controls will open the control menu. Selecting ratio opens a new submenu in which requires a speed ratio of the pan and the tilt axis can be adjusted. By slowly increasing the ratio value, you set the relationship between the angle at which you move the core head and the angle at which the head moves at the end. Because the RE DRW1 wheels are the digital version of the RE Gear Head 2, the DRW1 wheels also offer the classic 3-speed drive with the original gear ratio. Note, once the DRW1 wheels are connected to the remote control, the ratio value is set to the classic medium speed of the RE Gear Head 2. A lower speed value will undercrack the movement of the remote head. A higher speed value would overcrack the movement of the remote head. In speed mode, you can also use the RAM adjustment for the tilt and the pan. For more details, please refer to the DRW1 manual.